Hello, this is Ted and Christy from Dementia Talks. We're here today to uh, finish our discussion on uh, what do you do when a loved one potentially uh, has dementia and um, you're trying to help them uh, get that, get a di proper, appropriate diagnosis and um, it may not be going smoothly. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, one of the topics that came, that came up, comes up is um, learning about dementia, right? Right, right. And um, so how do you, how would you advise um, the two people, the caregiver and the, the, for lack of better words, the patient, the, the mm -hmm. person who potentially has dementia, how do you advise uh, learning, the learning process? Well, doing a lot of reading. You did more clinical reading. Um, I do more um, story reading um, about um, people living with dementia and how it affects their life. Um, and either way is good. The clinical part to me, you have it and it doesn't matter right to me how you uh, how you have it or how you got it or what's going on i just need to relate to you and keep you in say keep you in step that's the wrong way to put it but be joined together it, we're in this together it's not just your problem it's just like when we were when i was pregnant I was not just pregnant, you were pregnant too. Um, and we had two lovely daughters. Right. Um, and so that it's the partnership. You, yes, you have dementia, but I also am living with dementia mm -hmm. with you. Right. So that I just, I try to avoid saying, oh, it's your problem or it's just you. It's when we have a battle or whatever, it's a battle for the two of us. That's great advice. You, I know. You um, read Still Alice. Still Alice, yes, a while ago. I, yeah. And, I, I, we got it again. Yeah. I haven't listened to it again, but... Um, and, and I think the other one was um, just at the time I was getting diagnosed um, was when um, Robin Williams... Um, Both really good yeah. um, uh, stories to see how people um, are affected and how they learn to live together. Yeah, Robin, Robin unfortunately was diagnosed with Parkinson's and didn't get a dementia diagnosis. So when things related to dementia started coming to him, um, he was, he freaked out. He thought, yeah. yeah um, and, and that was a number of years ago. It's not. Right, and that's not even that many years ago. No, but right. it was not as well known. Right, especially, especially since he had, um, what I have, which is Louis body, and it can, can progress very quickly. Mm -hmm. So um, mine so far has been a slow progression, but it can get to a point and just it can go change right um, in an instant. Louis body doesn't go backwards. You don't, ha uh, I don't you think have, anything goes backwards. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm not. It, um, no, you're right. Probably none of them go backwards, yeah. but some of them can put be put on hold. Yes. Yeah. And Alzheimer's takes a long time, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but yeah, um, those that's great. That's a great uh, way of looking at it. I have, I you're right. I I do tend to read more um, clinical or uh, get online help. I I like like from um, Harvard um, uh, Medical Institute. Um, I subscribe to them, and and so there's a lot of good information that's out there. Um, some of it's way too clinical, uh, but you also, I uh, think, because of your, you look at how it affects people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more. I'm more of the psychologist, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it, it just it, it, watching how you react is very right. interesting. I'm kind of the what what it is and you're the how 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 it mm -hmm. affects right yeah. people yeah. Um, so um, both of those perspectives are absolutely critical mm -hmm. um, in the learning it's a, it process it can be a fun journey it can be a scary journey but um you, you know you might say where am i and i'll say well where do you want to be 
you know, instead of saying, you idiot. Right. Um, we're, of course, here. Um, and Ethan, you've not asked that question yet, but I can see that that's going to be down the road. What, what, what do you think about the idea of keeping a journal of, of what goes on? I tried. I'm not a journal writer. Um, I did. I have one in there that I need to catch up on. Um, I think it's very, very important, especially in the beginning, um, to answer questions. When did you first see this? What year? Because when you go into that clinic and they start asking you questions, <laughs> they go way back to puberty, if not before. And, you know, what year did you have that surgery? Or what year, you know, so they're really, at least at Cleveland, they want to know everything. Um, his experience in the service. Um, you know, they, they really pull a lot. And it was it's hard to, um, and you're very good with dates. I am not. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'll relate it to where we were. Well, we were out at dinner and that happened, right. but I wouldn't remember the year. Um, so yeah, I think a journal is very important. Um, even if you just write, you're brief in it. Right. Today I noticed this and then just let it go. You have said <clears throat> lately to me that I'm not the Ted that I used to be. No. Um, you're my new Ted. I mean, <laughs> okay. It, it, it's like having a new husband. <laughs> okay. Um, but how does that, I mean, so let's say somebody's entering it at this phase, right? They haven't had the early diagnosis benefit that I have had. How would, how would you advise them to, you know, deal with this new person that they're now? Well, it would be harder um, because there's been so much animosity and anger and fights up until this time yeah, of the those diagnosis. Would have kept, those would have kept going. They would have kept going because you didn't have a diagnosis. Yeah. And and we say fights, arguments. There was, yeah. And, um, you know, what do you mean? You, you don't, you know, or he wants to turn this way on the street because he thinks it's that way. And I said, no, it's that way. We ran into that last year when we were here. And I finally said, he goes, no, it's this way. I says, tell you what, I'm going to go my way and we'll drive for 10 minutes. If we're not where we want to be, we'll go back your way. And he was good with that. Yeah. And instead of saying, no, you're wrong. Yeah. We try to avoid that. Right. But you don't do that if you don't have a diagnosis. Right. If you don't, if you, it, it, you don't have a common understanding of right. what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, and I constantly ask, are you okay? What can you do? We can switch at any time. We, I don't know if you know, we've taken this long road trip just about every day. We're in the car and I'll say, you know, we can always turn around and go home if you're uncomfortable or if you, if you, if you don't want to continue because that's why we drove. If he's, if he wants to leave tomorrow, we'll be home in five days. Right. Um, you know, so that gives him an option. Whereas if he came to me and said, I want to go home, and we didn't have a diagnosis, I'd say, what do you mean you want to go home? <laughs> yeah, pay all, pay all this paid money. Paid all this money, and we, you know, we have all these plans. I don't want to go home. But you know, now that I know, we're good. Right. I, I, think, I think that the, um, all, another part of that benefit of being on the same page is, um, is the ability to you have, I have someone to talk to about it, right? Yeah. I, I can talk to you about it. Yeah. Right. Whereas before I had the diagnosis, everything was in here, right? Mm -hmm. Everything that went wrong, everything that was confusing, everything that we would get into arguments about, um, was, was me, caused me to question myself. Right. And to doubt myself. Mm -hmm. um, n not that I don't doubt myself, uh, but I understand why I should doubt myself. And that's a big difference. Yes. Yes. You understand that you're, you might be wrong. And, uh, yeah, and, and that's, that is really important. Um, I had a thought and it went right out of my <laughs> head. Um, but the idea that um, we can talk about it and we have friends 
that know the situation. We practically, you know, they'll say, well, if Ted feels like it, would you like to come for dinner tonight? It's mm -hmm. nothing special. Well, sure. Do you, do you, does he want to play cards? I don't know. We'll ask him. Do you feel like playing cards? And if, you, if your head's confused, you say no. Yeah. Right. And it's okay. They don't care. Um, but, yeah, it's been interesting to watch. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, um, you, you, you tend to bring your good friends along with you. Um, it, yeah. Right? You know, they, um, they're no more, more, more familiar with it than we were before. I mean, somebody said dementia to me three years ago. I thought it was somebody in a mm -hmm. nursing home drooling sitting in a wheelchair, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's not what it but is. As, as we travel and bring it up to people, it's, it's not unusual for me to say, you know, my husband has dementia. In other words, if he, and I say it, I don't want to identify him as a dementia. Right. But on the other hand, they're much more open. We've got some friends here that just love to be with us, and um, they don't care if he doesn't remember. Right. Um, but if he, if they didn't know, they'd say, well, what? he's not quite right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. you know, what's wrong with him? And this way they know. Right. And so there's nothing wrong with that. No. I did forget what I was going to say. Sorry. I'm sorry. Um, um so, so, you know, we, in the last section, session, we talked about, um, uh, being, being, uh, being gentle. Right, um, remembering that the person uh, has has issues in in um, you may be right, but presenting them as cold hard facts um, can 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 um, challenge to right away their their mental um, faculties. Right, right. So there's I you've learned either through um, your personality, through habit, through, and through, through uh, Christy is involved in with other caregivers, and I'm sure they talk about those kind of things. Uh, but, you know, when you, if you would present it as just, you know, cold heart, here's your problem to get it over, you know, you deal, we're going to, you know, if you hit, if you do that, um, one is simply because it takes more time for me to process. I think I my natural reaction would be to resist. Right. 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 So you, you sleep on it, honey, and we'll talk about it in the morning. Yeah. Um. And or in, in next week, and not try to push it. I know what I was going to say. Our entire married life, and it, I'm not bragging by any means, but we never saw. Any, it never did marriage counseling or anything like that. And until we got to this point, and it's been a very interesting, I think we've gone through marriage counseling on our own now, mm -hmm. uh, relationship counseling, because we've had to adjust our relationship. Right. And it's, that's been very interesting. Right. And the, the VA has been very helpful in that yeah. process as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the VA... Um, um, has provided for uh, for me and us uh, counseling both from a psychology psychological point of view and from a psycho psychological point of view. But they're both just for you. They I I go into right, the you, appointment you with me. you, but, but I but, try but to because keep... we are they are both for me. Um, but I, that brought me to another thought that I wanted to bring cause, uh, out, which was from uh, Robin Williams. Um, re Remember that the other person, um, even though you're you're struggling to um, have them understand what it is, um, they're struggling internally, yes. right? And um, the 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 byproducts of that struggle are depression, anxiety, um, and and that depression can get to a clinical level of depression, right? That, that, that's, as with Robin... Uh, Literally scared. Yes. It, it, it's it scared. Scared so much breathless. that he committed suicide, yeah. right? And yeah. so... And the fear um, of going so when, on that way. When, when they asked me... Uh, so that constantly the question I get out of VA is, um, are, have you thought about committing suicide, right? Because even though I'm on antidepressants and those kind of things, that's that's the greatest challenge, right? Because yeah. 
um, and then when you when that person has dementia and can't is not getting the help right not getting the right antidepressants not getting um, not getting the right counseling not or an, an, an anxiety medication then what's the alternative that's going on in their head right um, and when you so when you think about it from that point of view when you think about what your interaction is with a caregiver right um, it's not unreasonable to think that there's going to be battles or there's going to be conflicts. That person's got a lot going on mm -hmm. in their head uh, without that without that help. Yeah, I, I really uh, my my heart goes out to someone who is is in denial, right? Because um, I know the feelings of what it is to be be there and not so much to the yeah. Not so much the denial, but the reality of what happens even after you are diagnosed, taking that on and understanding what your new reality really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it is a new world. Yeah. It's a new relationship. Uh, which we, we've talked about um, in previous and written about it, and, and we've got, we've given, you know, um, it, it's, in, it's in the book. <laughs> shameless I'm doing it again I'm being oh, shameless, shameless. Right? it's the same it's in the book about the six stages to to help get to acceptance but I, I just really feel for somebody who hasn't gotten to that point and know that it's it's a journey not mm -hmm. not um, something that just flips on with the light switch you don't get there just overnight no uh, you don't so all right, so we have kind of come to our time. Anything else before we close out? No, no, but I've enjoyed this. It's given me some food for thought. Okay. And so, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's given you food for thought and that you can um, please post your ideas and your questions. Um, this is why we are doing this today. And um, we... Um, felt it was best to do it together um, because you can get both perspectives because that's really where the, the, the challenges exist, yeah. right? So um, we wanted to give you kind of perspective from a both of us. Um, your journey is going to be different. I, just by fact, it's going to be different. Um, but please leave the questions. We'll do our best to answer them. And, um, and, and also, you know, uh, it's it's. I have an open channel, so if other people want to comment on somebody else's, it's not just me that can can answer. Uh, it's okay to have an open dialogue. I do uh, make sure that there's not um, somebody advertising or doing those kind of things, but um, I can, so I can filter that. Uh, but I want it to make it sure that it's uh, open for everybody to, to have a dialogue about these. These are difficult dis discussions, mm -hmm. right? And we hope you can uh, dialogue with each other as well. So, I'm going to share one thing, and there, you guys might be surprised. I don't know. I do not watch many, if any, of Ted's um, podcasts or YouTubes, some, and I've not read his book. <laughs> I live it every day. I've read ex ex excerpts of his book, but I've not read it cover to cover. And that sounds terrible. I'm very proud, but I know what's going on. And he talks about his podcasts. So, so if you think I'm a really great person, I'm not that great because I don't <laughs> pay any attention to it. <laughs> because I don't need to. Yeah, it's, well, it's when his... you're when you're in the middle in the middle of the circus ring, it's probably not that <laughs> big a deal. <laughs> you're right. It's like, I know this already. Yeah, you're already so, up on the trapeze. <laughs> yep, that's it, and that sometimes that's the way it feels. Right. Okay. So okay, sorry. All right, no, uh, that's great. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you come back. And more importantly, subscribe. You know, uh, we have. Uh, right now we're at 700 uh, subscribers. We'd like to have a thousand, ten thousand. Uh, so tell us what we can do better, and we'll do that. Uh, but please subscribe, and uh, hope you have a positive day. This is Ted and Christy signing off. <laughs>